Carson Chambers is live tonight outside the Orange County Courthouse in Orlando on this third day of testimony. Carson. Well, Jameson, George Anthony is the state's witness, and today the questions were not about his behavior. They were about his daughter's. His granddaughter is gone. The state says Kaylee left this world on June 16, 2008. Today, George Anthony talked about eight days later, the day he unknowingly lost his daughter, too. As I'm starting to walk down our little hallway to go out through the garage because the garage door is open, Casey just brushes past me very quickly says, I'll see dad, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it out of the car. He says, Casey, I'm capable of going out and get it. So as she run, almost nearly runs to the back of her car. George Anthony says he confronted Casey about two gas cans stolen from a locked backyard shed. But when he came home from work unexpectedly, he says Casey was evasive and erratic. What was her reaction to seeing you? Somewhat of, of surprise on her part. I asked her how she was doing, what she's doing there. I asked, where's Kaylee? Uh, and she says, Dad, so I only got 10 minutes. I got to get my clothes. I got to take off and go to work. Soon he says his daughter angrily fessed up. As I get towards the end of the car, right at the passenger rear, just where the taillight and stuff is at, Casey opens up the trunk, throws the trunk open, reaches in and grabs the gas cans. He said, here, I hate to say this, here's your gas cans. And places them down on the ground and slams her trunk. The state says the cans have duct tape that matches the tape on Kaylee's nose and mouth. Still, George Anthony says he didn't smell anything in the car trunk that day, and neither did Casey's boyfriend. And despite all that, you told them that there was no smell. Correct. George Anthony gave his account of June 24th stoically, without much emotion, no tears. It's been nearly three years since he lost his girls, but on the stand, he never let on how much he misses them. And the defense also had their chance to question George Anthony today. And the tension in the courtroom was palpable. I was there. We're going to put together some of those heated exchanges for you for tonight at 6 o'clock. Live in Orlando, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.